You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week is Panharmonicon Week. We are sending Panharmonicon off proper as it rotates forever into the netherworld of modern and legacy and commander decks. So we've been playing Panharmonicon in all formats. We played a modern Panharmonicon deck yesterday for Much of Brew. Uh, it was one of our Fishbowl Thursday decks. It was really janky. It didn't win much. So today, we are going to give Panharmonicon one last chance in standard with a bunch of M19 cards that we haven't played with Panharmonicon yet. So this is Palakamonicon. Look at a ramp into Palaka Worms. Gained tons of life with Panharmonicon. Got some of the other good Panharmonicon stuff as well. So as you can see, 90 bucks in the paper world, 12 ticks on Magic Online. So not a bad price for a deck that is pretty sweet. A quick reminder before we break down Palakamonicon for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Palakamonicon, starting with Panharmonicon, of course. So you know what it does by now. It doubles our Enter the Battlefield triggers. It kind of does other things too in some decks, but in this deck, we're primarily using it, or actually exclusively using it, to double up our Enter the Battlefield triggers. So the idea of this deck is pretty simple. We have a bunch of ramp to get to our Panharmonicon quickly, and because we have a lot of expensive stuff in this deck that we want to cast after Panharmonicon, Servant of the Conduit, Naga Vitalist, turn two ramp spells that don't die to Goblin Chain Whirler, Elvish Rejuvenator gives us turn three ramp by Dingy Fear Land, and then it's still also good with Panharmonicon, since it double triggers, finds us two lands, so these cards ramp us into our bigger plays, including Panharmonicon itself. Then we have some Panharmonicon All-Stars in Champion of the Wits and Cloud Blazer. If we're going to play Panharmonicon one last time in Xandard, we can't leave these cards out. They're just the best Panharmonicon cards because they draw us tons of cards. So Champion of the Wits comes down, digs to help us find our Panharmonicon. And then later in the game, once we have Panharmonicon, we can internalize it, and it is a massive boost of card advantage because we're drawing, like, four cards, discarding two. If we have Panharmonicon, we're drawing eight cards, discarding four. So we basically just refill our hand for seven mana and get a 4-4 body left behind. Meanwhile, Cloud Blazer, right on curve with Panharmonicon. If we can maybe ramp into Panharmonicon on turn three, turn four, Cloud Blazer, we draw four cards, gain four life, and have a 2-2 flyer left over. So good against aggro, a fine-ish attacker on its own. So just one of the perfect cards for Panharmonicon in Standard. Then we get to our big payoffs and namesake cards. So Palaka Worm is our main plan for closing out the game, and one of the things about this Standard format is a lot of people are still playing Red Aggro, still the best deck in the format. Some people are playing Control decks as well. Palaka Worm is good against both of those. If we ramp into it, it just gains us 7 or maybe 14 life with Panharmonicon to put the game out of reach against Red Aggro, and then it gets Control to big threat that can close out the game quickly if our opponent kills it, we still get to draw a card. So the idea is, after we get down Panharmonicon, we're just going to play a Palaka Worm, gain a massive chunk of life, maybe play another one, gain another massive chunk of life, to stabilize the board and eventually allow us to win the game. The other sweet M19 addition to the deck is Meteor Golem, which just blows up any non-land permanent when it enters the battlefield. So this is our answer to Teferis and Karns and Chandras and annoying creatures. If we have a Panharmonicon out, we can be blowing up two or even three permanents if we have multiple Panharmonicons. Our other sweet new addition is Vizier of Deferment, which is actually a really old card. I don't know why we've never played this with Panharmonicon before. It's been in the format forever, but it's actually really sweet. It's kind of like a Flicker Wisp, but it only flickers something that attacked or blocked. But the idea is we play our Cloud Blazer, maybe we attack with it, then we Vizier it, and we get to reuse the trigger with Panharmonicon, or with our Palaka Worm or our Champion Witch, whatever we want to reuse, Meteor Golem to blow up more stuff. So Vizier is just not great with Panharmonicon, Panharmonicon on its own, but it's great with our other cards in conjunction with Panharmonicon, because it also double triggers with Panharmonicon, so we can, like, get a Cloud Blazer and a Block of Worm, reuse both of their triggers, just so many triggers flying all over the place, so I'm excited to give this one a shot as well. We also have just a touch of removal, couple of Seal Ways, couple of Vixelon's Bindings to deal with our opponent's stuff. Mana base-wise, we have a bunch of dual lands, some Ether Hubs, some basic lands. In the sideboard, we got a bunch of stuff for control, Negates, Nez 
Rosa Hall is just an uncounterable threat, kind of our budget version of Carnage Tyrant. Sorcerer Spyglass for Teferi's and Heart of Curens. Sunskirt Champion to gain some life against Aggro. Fumigate is a life gaining sweeper. More Ixalan's Binding for removal. Reclamation Sage to deal with vehicles and search for his contest and all the artifacts and enchantments running around. And that is Palakamonicon for Standard. And that's our budget magic deck for this week. So, this is a deck that you probably shouldn't build. I mean, you can build it for casual play, but Standard is rotating in not very long. Panarmonicon will no longer be Standard legal, but I think it's fair, since I love Panarmonicon so much, we've played it so much, to give it one last run in Standard before it rotates. So, I wouldn't recommend building this one, because, like, more than half of the deck will not be Standard legal two weeks from now or whatever when Guilds of Ravnica comes out. But we're gonna have fun with Panarmonicon one last time, hopefully double up a lot of triggers, triple up a lot of triggers, draw a lot of cards, and maybe even win some games along the way. So, anyway, that's Palakamonicon for Standard. That's our budget magic deck for Panharmonicon Week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. All right, budget magic time. Ugh. It's time for Panharmonicon's Last Stand in this hand. All right, Servant is reasonable. Hinterland Harbor Go. That does help us get towards our Cloud Blazer if it lives. We'll see if it lives. See what our opponent's playing. Canyon Slew. Well, one thing I've learned is in these waning days of standard, there's a few people trying out new things, and then there's a lot of people playing red aggro. <laughs> I will not be even a tiny bit sad when this red aggro deck rotates. Ooh, Spire Bluff Canal. It's not red aggro. Opponent passing. Well, play Hinterland Harbor. Pass the turn. Opponent cycles Fetid Pools. Sure. Untaps. Drowned Catacombs. And Champion. Well, this means we get to Cloud Blazer. Discards a couple lands. And passes. A play an island. Run out Cloud Blazer. No Panharmonicon, unfortunately. Draw some cards, gain some life. All right, champion and servant of the conduit, not the worst. Drowned catacombs. And doomfall. Gonna grab something from our hand. A little worried about Scarab God. All right, they go with champion of wits. I guess that's fine. And magma spray. All right. Well, they know about binding, so they're probably less likely to just run something awesome into it. Down to 20. Well, play Servant of the Conduit. Get in with Servant of the Conduit. Play Scattered Groves. Pass the turn. Tap land for our opponent. And Karn. Takes up. Well, you can have a Karn. And then we can just Binding Karn and leave our opponent with a Karn stuck in hand. Now let's cycle Scattered Groves. Ooh, Rejuvenator. Hmm. Well, that's Binding. Get rid of Karn. Mmm, and let's just pass. Let's not spend all of our energy on Rejuvenator. It's better if we happen to draw a Panharmonicon anyway. So we know one of the cards in our opponent's hand is a dead Karn. This does get rid of our easiest answer to Scarab God. If our opponent just plays Scarab God and never attacks with it, that could end up being problematic. A Braid's a Servant. Yeah, it's in with Champion. Yup. Down to 18. And passes. Well, there's a Forest. I mean, we're gonna go for it. If our opponent has a counter, I guess that's unfortunate. But Locker Worm is down. I mean, it can be Veraska this contempted. Yeah, all right. Well, we go up to 25, past the turn. Cloud Blazers, Panharmonicons, Champion of Wits, no Scarab Gods. That's what we're looking for. Opponent. Yeah, it's in with Champion. They only have one unknown in hand, because one card is a dead Karn. Nicole Bolas. Ugh. And it can flip. Oh, we're in trouble. Come on, Binding. Off the top. Please, for the love of God. Land. All right, pass the turn. 
Uh, things are looking grim for Panharmonicon here. This means our opponent gets to flip Nicole Bolas, and that means it's over. Opponent goes attacking. Yeah, all right, whatever. Down to 17. If our opponent tries to flip now... Okay, uh, seal away. Well, that was a bit of a punt from our opponent. They could have flipped it if they didn't attack, but they had to get in those four points of damage. All right, Nicole Bolas down. Come on, Cloudblazer. Eh, Panharmonicon. Well, Panharmonicon will be good... If we ever draw anything to go with it, hit our opponent, pass the turn. Opponent. Champion. Uh oh. Gets rid of the Karn. Goes digging. Oh, we got to draw something. We're running out of time to draw something to go with our Panharmonicon. Karn, Mountain Discarded. Plays Field of Ruin. Gets in. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Give us something. Opponent passes. That's awkward. Well, pass the turn. Meteor Golem seems sweet. The problem is it just puts Champion of Wits in our opponent's graveyard for them to get back and draw a million cards. So it's not actually sweet at the moment. Opponent gets in. Yeah, we can't kill those or our opponent drowns us in card advantage. Down to 11. <sighs> Doomfall. There goes our Meteor Golem. Well, come on, deck. Come on, deck. That's not good. Well, get in with Servant. Play Vitalist. Play Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ugh. Arcade dip for a Cloud Blazer. Gets in. Down to seven. Abrade's Panharmonicon. We draw. Elvish Rejuvenator. Well, play Rejuvenator. Yeah, there goes some removal to the bottom. Go attacking. Unfortunately, we're going to have to start blocking Champion Wits. And then the card draw is going to be unbeatable. Opponent gets in, gets in. We really need to draw something this turn. Palaka Worm, Cloud Blazer, something like that. Oh no, opponent drew action. It's a Scarab God. All right. And that's the game, boys and girls. We've <laughs> we drew the worst Champion of Wits. Champion of Wits. Loot. Discard, discard. Get back, Champion of Wits. Oh, my God. Just a little too late for Panharmonicon's last stand. And Scarab God's last stand is going to... Going to rue the day. Even with a rotation, Scarab God doesn't really fit under the budget. Or in our colors, for that matter. Champion, coming back. Oh, man. Oh, we were so close. We spent a few too many turns fizzling with the Panharmonicon out, and now that we are getting things back... All right, draw some cards. But the Scarab God is still... We don't have answers for it at the moment, unfortunately. And they can reanimate two things. Discard... Yeah, I guess it's got to be Panharmonicon land. Pass the turn. Ugh. So incredibly close, but yet so incredibly far. Yeah, and we're just... Well, we'll wait. We'll wait. I don't think there's a way we can beat Scarab God. Our only other Ixalan's Binding is at the bottom of our deck. Opponent can reanimate to drain us to one. Then we're forced to block everything. Yeah, maybe our opponent will just time out here thinking about this turn well add scarab god to the list of cards that i will be happy to have rotated it was fun at a time there was a time like a year and a half ago where i enjoyed playing scarab god uh now i'm not so excited about it pass the turn gets back serving at the conduit yep a braid, the natural foil to Panharmonicon. Having that be gone will be sweet too. Yup, gets back Servant, gets to drain us, to two, scry. Main deck Doomfalls. 
opponent. Veraska's contempt, and we are dead. Well, that was a good scry. And uh, Panamonicon's last stand cannot stand up to Scarab God, unfortunately. Well, bring in the Ixalan's binding. Bring in Sorceress Spyglass. Go down some Rejuvenators. Maybe go down, like, Palaka Worm for Negate. And Vitalist Negate. Try it like that. All right. We are on the play. And, uh, all right. We got a quick Panharmonicon. Nothing to go with it. We do have some cycling lands, though. Forest, goo. About it. Swamp. And passes. Well, more Vitalist. Hinterland Arbor. Play Vitalist. Pass the turn. Well, come on, things to go with Panharmonicon. Dragon Skull Summit. Opponent, passing. Well, play the island. Play Panharmonicon. No braids, no braids. Pass the turn. Oh, there's a braid. <laughs> oh, wizards, why? I mean, a braid was good for standard overall, or else Heart of Curin probably would have had to be banned, but it is bad for Panharmonicon in specific. Opponent, land, pass it. Oh, play Naga Vitalist. Play Ether Hub. Play Sorceress Spy Class. Holy. Well, name the Scarab God. This is not looking good. Our hope is that our opponent never draws a land, I think. If our opponent never draws a land, there is hope. Land. Hope, hope gone. Hope gone. That simply. Well, we get our opponent to whiff with a Doomfall. That's a little something. Come on, Cloudblazer. Oh my god. Well, let's cycle farmland. Play Champion of Wits. That's not a bad draw. Go looting. Discard Champion. Discard Scattered Grove. Play Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. Well, now our opponent has to abrade Vitalist, or we get to get back Champion of Wits this turn. Opponent draws a land. If they abrade Vitalist, it means they're not dealing with this Sorceress Spyglass, which is also good. Although I guess eventually Torrential will get it back. They kill Vitalist. Trying to delay the inevitable. Opponent passing. Well, never complained about a Cloud Blazer, even with our Panharmonicon being dead. Cloud Blazer draws up cards. Play Hinterland Harbor. Get in with Champion. And things are not looking too bad. Even without Panharmonicon, Champion Wits gets to come back next turn and refill our hand. Man, opponents hit land, 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 land. All right. They had no lands at hand when we cast the Sorcerer's Spyglass. They had two lands in on the battlefield and no lands, and they, they have managed to draw lands for three straight turns, which does mean these Torrentials are going to come into play eventually. Kills a champion. Gains a bit of life. Well, opponent passes. I'll play the island. Get back champion. Draw some cards. Hmm. Discard, servant, and servant. Get in with Cloud Blazer. Hit our opponent. See if our opponent draws a land for Torrential. All right, only sort of. It's a tap land. Opponent, passing. Well, go attacking. Hit our opponent. Play Plaka Worm. Gain some life. Play Ether Hub. Even without Panharmonicon, well, the Torrentials can start coming back, but we got stuff happening now. Opponent, passing. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Oh, this might be a blowout. This might be the Vizier blowout. Torrential for Veraska's Contempt. Well, uh, Vizier of Deferment. Blink Palaka Worm. Fizzle. Oh, man, Vizier was great there. Fizzle Veraska's Contempt. Hit our opponent down to 10. Um, let's hold the land past the turn. Get back Palaka Worm. Up to 36. 36. Uh-huh. Boned. Nicole Bolas. All right, well, discard Ether Hub and cuts our champion. Opponent passes. Well, get him with Palaka Worm. Opponent blocks and blocks. Well, kill Nicole Bolas. Draw a card. Play Panharmonicon. Play Panharmonicon. Okay. Okay. Give us a Cloud Blazer. Land for our opponent. 
Sweltering Suds Torrential in hand. That means this Palaka Worm's coming down. And you gotta get as a massive chunk of life. Main phase Torrential. A Braid. Are they going after Panharmonicon? They're gonna blow up a Panharmonicon. Sure. Gets in. Yeah. All the way down to 31. <laughs> but we're gonna gain 14 with Palaka Worm number two. Uh, Palaka Worm? Oops. Palaka Worm? Gain 14? Up to 46? <laughs> Panharmonica doing its thing. Uh, get it with Cloud Blazer. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, we're like a card draw spell away. We could use another, like, Cloud Blazer or something. Ponet. Sweltering Suds. And... Wow. Staying frisky. Okay. That's fine. We'll take 10. Down to 35. <laughs> opponent passes. Well, get into a plot worm. Hit our opponent to 1. Play Serve into the Conduit. Gain a bunch of energy. Play Seal Away. Get rid of Torrential. Pass the turn. And we have a Negate in hand for, like, a Veraska's Contempt. And Paul scoops it up! Panarbonicon! Coming through even against Torrentials and Scarab Gods and our opponent drawing a million lands in the right order. Uh, okay, run it back. One more time. Let's do it. All right. I mean, we're going to keep. We have a Rejuvenator. We basically need to draw a land or two. All right, there's a land. Forest Go. This hand has a lot of what we want, assuming we can cast it on time. Spire Bluff. Ponet passes. Hinterland. Go. Ponet. Ooh, missing their land drop. Well... Play Ether Hub, get an energy. Play Rejuvenator. Please don't whiff. Oh, one land. All right, we got a Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. That was close. Opponent finds a land. There's Champion. Yup. Gonna try to get out of their land troubles. Discards Vizier and Cut to Ribbons. Opponent passes. Well, play Champion. See if we can hit our land drop. Uh, we do not. Discard a Panharmonicon. Discard a Vizier. Pass the turn. Ugh. That was unfortunate. We wanted to leave up a negate there, but... Opponent. Tap land. Champion. Number two. Well, in theory, that gets us closer to actually finding a land, which is good. Nicole Bolas Sweltering Suns discarded. Opponent passes. Well, play Panharmonicon. Uh, not like this. The missing on lands is the nightmare. Oh, dear. I guess this is how it's going to end. Opponent. Magma sprays our champion. Hooray. Gets in, gets in. Well, we'll block. Dropped 18. Nicol Bolas. Well, discard seal away. Opponent passes. Well, tap land and Ixalan's binding. Get rid of Nicol Bolas's. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ah. Uh, gets in. It's going to be interesting. Hits us. Yep. Down to 16. Karn. Okay. Takes up. Gets a Nicole Bolas. Well, now we're going to double Cloud Blazer. Opponent passes. We'll deal with Karn later. We got to get our Panharmonicon value. That's what we came here for. Panharmonicon. Draw four, gain four. Well, there is every land that we were wondering about. <laughs> we found them. We found the lands. Opponent. Champion of Wits. Goes looting. That's a little sketchy that we we drew all lands there. Discards Nicole Bolas. Discards, discards Sulfur Falls. Takes up Karn. Gets a land. Opponent. Gets it. Yep. Well, we'll take it. Down to 18. Opponent passes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, let's play it safe. Play the island. Ixalan's Binding. Get rid of Karn. Get in with Cloud Blazer. Opponent cycles. Yep. Pass the turn. Opponent. Gets it. Gets it. Hits us. Down to 14. They can get back Champion of Wits. Kills Cloud Blazer. All right. Well, cycle Scattered Groves. Untap. Another Cloud Blazer is pretty sweet. Play a Plains. Play Cloud Blazer. Draw four, gain four. 
Holy mother of lands. <laughs> uh, past the turn. I'm not sure how we... That is the second Cloud Blazer where we've drawn four lands, which is pretty absurd. Opponent Veraska contempts. All right. Yeah, this land drawing is kind of insane. Like, certifiably insane. Opponent, land. Gets in, gets in. Hits us. Well, cycle scattered groves. More lands. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is insane. Well, Meteor Golem. Kill champion. Kill champion. Pass the turn. How many lands do we have in the top of our deck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. 16 lands in the top half of our deck. That's a high number of lands. And so that means we have hardly any lands left in the bottom half. Scarab God. Opponent. Well, thankfully we have Ixalan's Binding for that. Oh my god. 17. Well, Ixalan's Binding. Get rid of Scarab God. Pona says, wow, seriously. I don't think they were happy to have all of their finishers hit by Ixalan's Binding. Well, all we've drawn is lands in Ixalan's Binding, opponent. <laughs> we would rather be drawing things to draw as cards. <laughs> I promise. Like, that's what we would like here. We do need to draw something, because they can start getting back Champion of Wits, and that will beat us eventually. Even with Karn and Scarab God and the Kobolas off the table, those will kill us. They are 4-4s. Four and if we just keep drawing nothing and more lands, which would be way against the odds. That is a way we can still lose. They have three champion wits in the graveyard. Opponent, passes. All right, there's Palaka Worm. That makes the odds a little lower. Play Palaka Worm. Gain a smidge of life. Two better bottom gods out, up to 35. Now it's gonna take the champions a little bit longer to actually kill us. Opponent, cycles, sure. Plays a tap land. We still want a champion wits or cloud blazer. That's the draw that hopefully puts the game away. The other possibility is our opponent just times out. They have played a little bit slowly. Doomfall. Well, let's negate. So our opponent doesn't know. Torrential Gear Hulk. For Veraska's Contempt. Well, come on deck. Champion of Wits, Cloud Blazer. More Palaka Worms are fine. But we do need to draw something, or there's a chance that we do die to this. If we can draw any one of those cards, though, we should get enough value to just put the game away. Opponent gets it. And we have very few lands left in our deck, so our odds, I guess we have a decent number of mana dorks, which are not great draws, but opponent gets it. Wow. Well, uh, Hinterland Harbor go. That is unfortunate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 lands out of our deck. So our odds of drawing them are 1 in 4. Although that does probably mean we will draw them several turns in a row. Opponent, Champion of Wits, coming back. Man, we're going to lose this, aren't we? Oh, deck, don't do this to us, please. Not like this, deck. Discard some cards, play some land. Passes. Oh, no! No! Oh, my God. Oh, Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon's last stand. It's over. It's over. Oh, no. Well, that is the nightmare coming true. Somehow, the magic gods are not smiling on Panharmonicon this week. They are frowning. They are frowning severely. Doomfall. Yeah, we got nothing, opponent. We have drawn 19 of our 25 lands. <laughs> Is it even 25? It might be 24 lands. It is not a high number of lands. I know that. And we have drawn them all. Opponent gets back a champion. Oh, all right. Down to two. Well, we got to draw something. We got to draw it this turn. Champion. Okay. Well, this gives us hope. Champion of Wits. Lutes. Discard. Discard. Lutes. Discard. Discard. Lutes. Discard, discard. Well, this helps. Palaka Worm. Back up to 23. Pass the turn. Okay. Staying alive. Staying alive. Opponent, Sulfur Falls. Kills Palaka Worm. All right. Every card is gone. Opponent gets to go attacking. Opponent's out of cards, though. We got through a lot of bad stuff. Opponent hits us for 13. Down to 10. 
Well, Cloud Blazer. Draw six, gain six. Meteor Golem. Destroy our opponent's board. See you later, Panabonicon. Glacial Fortress. Servant of the Conduit. Gates of Energy. And uh, pass the turn. All right, opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They can't kill us with cut to ribbons. They do have one more champion of wits and also a vizier of many faces. And a pulse scoops it up! Panarmonicon comes through, opponent says, nice luck. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's true. We did finally draw the champion of wits for our Panarmonicon. However, we also drew an absurd amount of lands in the top half of our deck before we finally found the champion of wits. But Panarmonicon's last stand, taking down Scarab Gods and Nicole Volas's and, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. Sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some Panharmonicons. Last stand. <laughs> In standard. Last chance before... Oh, no. Soul Scar Mage. Last chance before Panharmonicon goes away forever. Well, we're hoping that we live long enough to play a Palaka Worm. Palaka Worm's pretty good against Mono Red, if we live that long. Bonded Courier. And shocks our face. Well, I'm glad they did this now instead of after we played Naga Vitalist. Could use another early game blocker. Maybe they just have another shock. Opponent gets in, gets in. Yep. Come on, something else for the early game. Opponent passes. Uh, well, there's there's Block Worm. Well, let's see if we ever can cast it. Naga Vitalist, go. There's the lightning strike. Ugh. Come on, something that we could cast. We need something to block this Bond Mat Courier. All right, well, Servant of the Conduit, that counts. Play Servant, play Scattered Groves, pass the turn. Hopefully our opponent is finally out of cheap burn. Soulscar Mage. Oh, come on, no shock, no second shock. Opponent, no attacks. All right, that's good. Now we get to Glacial Fortress and Cloud Blazer. Gain some life, draw some cards. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Mountain. Goblin, Chain Whirler, sure. Gets in, gets in. Well, we will take it. Down to 11. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Well, play Ether Hub. Get an energy. Play Cloud Blazer number 2. Pass the turn. Back up to 13. Opponent. Gets in, gets in, gets in. Does not get in. Uh, all right, let's just block with Little Cloud Blazer. Stay at 13. Opponent passes. All right, well play Hinterland Harbor, and play our answer to Mono Red. <laughs> Palaka Worm, back up to 20, pass the turn. And next turn, we can Panharmonicon and Vizier of Deferment, which is absurd. Hazaret. Smaller than... Okay, I'm going to get into our Palaka Worm. We will block. Oh, this turn's going to be sweet. Vi oh my god, and Meteor Golem. Well... Play Panharmonicon. Play Ether Hub. Get in with Cloud Blazer. Vizier of Deferment. Oh, that was. Oh my god. I'm going to get yelled at. We should have attacked with Palaka Worm as well. But this is still good. Pass the turn, discard farmland. Yeah, we could have got back Palaka Worm too. Oops, oops, oops. That is an enter the battlefield trigger. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've played Vizier somehow. Opponent gets in. Well, we will block with Palaka Worm. Opponent sacks, draw some cards. I think this one's just over for our opponent though. We have double Meteor Golem in hand. And active Panharmonicon. Discards a mount. And sure, down to 22. Opponent passes. Well, let's just Meteor Golem. Blow up, I think, both Soul Scar Mages, since they can put counters on, like, Plaka Worm. Glacial Fortress. And opponent! They've had enough! They've had enough! Plaka Worm! Take it down, Chain Whirlers and Hazarets. Panharmonicon also helping. Well, we get a Sun Scourge Champion. And we get two Fumigates, I guess. Go down one Meteor Golem. 
go down one Naga Vitalist. Actually, let's keep Vitalist and go down one, two Rejuvenators. We could bring in... Hmm. Let's go down to one Rejuvenator and bring in more Ixalan's Bindings. I kind of want all four. Maybe we go down one Vizier, too. Let's try it like that. Binding is just so good against Hazarets and Glorybringers and Chandras. Hmm. Okay. Well, if nothing goes wrong ever, we have Palaka Worms. If we live... We gotta live long enough. Opponent. No one drop is nice. Well, Scattered Groves. Goo. Bonet. Mountain. There, Soul Scar Mage. And passes. Uh-oh. Now we're drawing lots of lands. Play Servant of the Conduit. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Yeah, it's it. Well, yeah, we're not gonna block. Okay, opponent has a shock. Well, come on! Champion of Wits would probably be our best draw. Any early game stuff is good, though. Maybe we should not have played the Cycling Land. It's, like, so tempting because it lets all of our lands come into play untapped, but then we drew two more lands. Make that three more lands. Hinterland Harbor, go. Well, thankfully our opponent's not off to the fastest to start, but we are not doing anything. Mountain. Opponent. Yeah, it's in. Yup. Down to 17. Chain Whirler. All right, deck. Now's the time to give us something. Oh, boy. Seven drop. Well, I don't know if we live... Uh, Cloud Blazer would be good now. We need something we could cast before seven mana. We've just drawn all of our seven drops. Ponet gets in, hits us. Down to 12. Well, technically that's a thing we can cast. Servant of the Conduit, get some energy. Ether Hub, get some energy. Pass the turn. Ponet untaps. Come on, no bolts. No, no removals. Ponet. Gets in, gets in. Oh, they have the shock. All right, this is a big turn. This is the turn. If we draw something, we should live long enough to get to Palaka Worm. All right, planes go. Well, we'll see. Flashy Vizier is at least a chump blocker. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Opponent. Attacks, attacks. Three, well... I think we flash in Vizier. We just gotta make sure our opponent can't like burn our face and then kill us. So get rid of Soul Scar Mage. And three. Yeah, let's take three. Down to four. Opponent gets back Soul Scar. But now we survived. We survived until the Panorbotacons come down, which is mostly what we were hoping for. Or till our Palaka Worms come down. Not Panorbotacon yet. Go up to 11, get a 7-7, seven, seven, pass the turn. And we have another one for next turn. Opponent, Mountain. The second Palaka Worm might be the one that makes our opponent scoop it up. Opponent passes. Well, yeah, Palaka Worm. Up to 18. <laughs> and uh, we'll just pass. I mean, we win the long game. We're not going to start attacking yet. Opponent. Passing. Well, play Panarmonicon. Play Naga Vitalist. And, well, now I guess we can get in with a worm. We're up at 18. Opponent, not a believer in trample. Actually, maybe they have a burn spell? Alright, that works. So our opponent is going to kill our worm. We kill Chain Whirler. Draw a card. Oh, it's so good. Palaka Worm is so good. An opponent, man. Nine mountains is kind of a lot. Opponent passes. Well, let's champion of wits. An opponent! They've had enough! Panarmonicon! Panarmonicon's last stand taking down the best deck in standard. I mean, arguably, red aggro. Uh, all right. Doing it. Doing it. Doing it. Oh, I'm so glad we gave it one last chance. One last chance for Panarmonicon to shine. Sweet. All right. Budget magic time. Panharmonicon's... Last stand. <laughs> Erd. Uh, one last shot. It's Banner Monicon week. We're playing Palaka Monicon. <laughs> uh, yup. Ooh, Inventor's Apprentice. A vehicle stack, perhaps? Well, that's Hinterland Harbor. 
and serve into the conduit. Pass the turn. Bone it. Spire of Industry. I've actually seen a lot of people playing Blast from the Past type of decks this week. Gets in with Inventor's Apprentice, sure. Hmm. I'll play the Forest. Pass the turn. If our opponent isn't careful, we might be able to get him here. Seal away, scrappy, block Inventor's Apprentice. Attacks, attacks. Well, let's block, and then seal away. Get rid of Scrap Heap. Um, all right. Opponent keeps their Inventor's Apprentice alive. We take one. Opponent passes. Well, playing Irrigated Farmland. I mean, basically, we're hoping we get to block a worm. Something like a Cloud Blazer would be helpful. Opponent. PNLR. All right. That's a little annoying. Grows Inventor's Apprentice. Gets it. Well, we take it. Come on, deck. Now, play Scattered Groves. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, hmm. Now, yeah, let's wait one more turn. Pass the turn. I'm worried that if we tap out to kill something, then our opponent will just go, like, land rekindling Phoenix, and then we're in all kinds of rough shape. There's a land. Found it. Goes attacking. Yeah. Down to 11. Man, is Plockworm going to be too slow? Chandra. Well, I'm glad we have Ixalan's Binding. Takes up down to 9. Well, there's the Rekindling Phoenix. Opponent passes. Well, Ixalan's Binding. Get rid of Chandra. Play Scattered Grove. Man, we might just survive. It's going to depend on what's in our opponent's hand. Something like Glorybringer would probably just end us. Opponent. Going to get frisky. Yup. Hits us. Down to 4. There's Rekindling Phoenix. Now play the island and play Palaka Worm. If our opponent has unlicensed disintegration, then we're still just dead. And we might still just be dead anyway. Opponent's had a lot of action with this hand. Palaka Worm. Pass the turn. Opponent. Yeah, disintegration just ends us officially. Opponent. Scrap Heap. And... Sack Scrap Heap. Hits us for nine. And then what? Shocks? And passes. Well, play Palaka Worm. Go up to nine. Play Ether Hub. Ugh, can we attack? We need to kill our opponent. So we attack. Artifact Sack, we lose. Sack Thopter, we don't lose. Yeah. I mean, we gotta attack and just hope that they can't kill us. This puts our opponent on a two-turn clock, potentially. Land. Uh, Glorybringer definitely kills us. If that's what land number five means. Man, we're going to play... Well, I guess we just didn't play anything other than two Palaka Worms is our big problem. <laughs> we played two Palaka Worms, but before we just didn't do much of anything. Bonet. Goes attacking. Yep. We take it. Down to four. More penalars. Okay, gets a Thopter. <sighs> that doesn't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll attack. Maybe our opponent, like, forgets to block or something. But looks like Rekindling Phoenix going to get the job done. Opponent blocks. Yeah, goes to two. And, yeah, dead in the air. Scoop it up. All right, all right. Rekindling Phoenix. That is an annoyance. Bring in Bindings. Bring in Fumigates. Go down... I'm still angry at Rejuvenator for whiffing earlier. <laughs> so go down a couple of Rejuvenators. Also, in matchups where our opponent could have... In matchups where our opponent could have a Chain Whirler, it's a little bit worse. And <sighs> probably Sorceress Spyglass for maybe one Palaka Worm. Try it like that. All right, we play first. All right. I mean, we'll see. Scattered Groves, go. Mountain for our opponent, and passes. Well, Plains, Naga Vitalist. Pass the turn. Dragon Skull Summit. And Walking Ballista. X1. Sure. Well, let's play Ether Hub. Get down Panharmonicon. Hope our opponent doesn't have a braid, and hope we draw some stuff to trigger it. Pass the turn. Dragon's Skull Summit. 
Man, all right. Ether Sphere Harvester, sure. Pwn it. Getting in for one. All right, come on, deck. Servant of the Conduit. Well, play Servant. Get some energy. Play Irrigated Farmland. Pass the turn. We can start cycling lands here. Try to find, like, Palaka Worms, Meteor Golems, Cloud Blazers. Basically, anything that triggers Panharmonicon is going to be good. And try to save Ixalan Binding for Rekindling Phoenix and Chandra, primarily. Pwnit. Cruise Ether Sphere. Gets in for three. Yep. Lifelink, sure. So we take it. Down to 16. Oh, Noah Braid. Noah Braid on Banner Monicon. Ooh, Counter on Ballista, sure. I guess they can kill one of our Mana Dorks if they really want. Looks like that's a plan. Well, we are fine with our opponent trading Ballista here. Let's cycle Scattered Groves. More lands. Seal away. Well, cycle farmland. Play Ether Hub. Get him with Vitalist. Oh dear. We got the Panarbonicon. We got the mana. We just have nothing to do with it. The good news, like from this position, if we ever draw like a Cloud Blazer, things just go so well so quickly. All right, Pony Cruz. We are just going to seal away, I think. Seal away, Ether Sphere. Come on, Cloud Blazer. You can do it, deck. Scrap Heap. <sighs> Playing the island past the turn. <laughs> oh, we've done the hard part. We got the mana. We got the Panarmonicon. We just have not done the easy part, which is drawing anything that enters the battlefield and does something. Phone it. Gets in, gets in. Well, I guess we'll take it this turn. Down to 12. Ether Sphere. Yup. Bomb at Courier. Opponent passes. Oh, Rejuvenator. Well, okay. That is, we said anything that triggers Panharmonicon, and technically that is anything. It's not much of anything, but it is technically. We get a land, put some good stuff to the bottom. Get a land... Well, we didn't put any Cloud Blazers to the bottom. And we got two lands out of our deck. All right. We'll try it. Pass the turn. We need a Block of Worm, most likely. About it. Mountain. Hazareth the Fervent. Okay. Attacks, 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 attacks. Card under Bomat Courier. Well, block Bomat Courier. Opponent sacks. Seal away. Hazareth. Come on, Cloud Blazer. Down to eight. Pwn it. Passes. Ah, oh, planes. Well, now we need to Ixalan's Binding. Get rid of Ether Sphere. Opponent sacks it. Sure. All right. Well, we might have one more turn, depending on what our opponent drew. Ah, oh, we've done exactly what we wanted. We just did not find a payoff. Deadlands. Oh, God. That's a lot of mana. Is this Walking Ballista X4, and that kills us? Ping. Ping, ping. Three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one? All right. Well, if you ever wanted to be good to us, Panharmonicon, this is your last chance to shine. This is literally Panharmonicon's last dad. We got to draw something this turn. Hinterland Harbor. All right. Oh, that was a sad one. We just could not find any Panharmonicon stuff. Ugh. Oh, if we had drawn a single thing, we win the game, but we did not draw a single thing. Oh, Panharmonicon. Oh. Well, we get to see the downside. Sometimes you play Panharmonicon and just never find anything but Elvish Rejuvenator. <laughs> All right. On to the next. All right. Budget magic time. It is Panharmonicon week. We're playing <laughs> Panharmonicon's last stand. In standard, at least. Basically, a Bant Panharmonicon deck with Palaka Worms, Wormamonicon, Palakamonicon. <laughs> Panharmonicon, one last shot before it rotates. Island for our opponent. And pauses. Well, Ether Hub, get some energy. Run out a Servant of the Conduit. Pass the turn. This hand's pretty good, assuming we just hit our land drops. 
Ooh, Sulphur Falls. Interesting. Search for Ascanta. All right. Well, come on, land drops. I mean, I guess we can champion a wits for lands if we need to. And I guess that's what we're doing. So champion a wits. Go digging for a land. Discard, seal away. Discard. I guess servant of the conduit? Play ether hub. Pass the turn. Opponent. Searching for his conta. Mills a lightning strike. Not really sure what our opponent's playing. Firebrand archer. Okay. Oh, untap land. Ooh, all right. Well, let's just cloud blazer. Draw some cards. I know it's pre-Panharmonicon, but it still seems pretty reasonable. Getting with Champion of Wits. Up to 22. Hit our opponent. If this is a burn-style deck, the first Palaka Worm should be reasonable. Wow. Opponent trades. Interesting. I guess they're trying to flip the search for Iskanta. Search for Iskanta. Normally, you want your Firebrand Archer to sit out on the battlefield, but... Find the land. Plays the land. So, Weltering Sons... I'll play Glacial Fortress. I think we're going to keep waiting on Panharmonicon. Play Cloud Blazer. Pass the turn. Escanta. Probably going to try to binding this Escanta at some point. Ooh, patient rebuilding. I oh, might want to binding that. Chandra Torture Defiance. Adds mana. Firebrand Archer. Okay. Well, Ixalan's binding. Get rid of Chandra. Hinterland Harbor. Naga Vitalist. And I guess we get him with Cloud Blazer. Next turn, we can Panharmonicon Rejuvenator. And then the turn after that, get back Champion of Wits. Search for Iskanta. We might actually just let the Iskanta go and try to fight over Patient Rebuilding. Maybe this is a Nexus deck. This could be like a blue-red Nexus of Fate deck. And that might change our plans a bit as what we should fight over. It might be that we should fight over... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Well, getting rid of Chandra is good. Opponent. Sahili Rai pings us. Yeah, that's fine. Sahili dies pretty quick. Scries pings. Leaves it on top. And passes. Well, play the planes. Play Panharmonicon. Play Rejuvenator. <laughs> Double it up. Go digging for lands. Oh, my God. Whiff. That's embarrassing. That goes five cards deep. Oh, all right. Opponent scoops it up to the whiff. Well, that's good. <laughs> we whiff, but our opponent's still scooped. All right. Against this deck, negates and sorcerer spyglass seem good. Um, Ixalan's binding also seems good. Even Nezahal seems good. I have no idea how we're going to fit all these cards. We can go down Seal Away. I guess we can cut Rejuvenator. I guess we have enough ramp with Vitalists and Servants if we have to. Maybe we go one Nezahal, go down one Meteor Golem, and maybe one Palaka Worm. Yeah, let's try it like that. Uh, okay. I mean, we got Panharmonicon, we have Palaka Worm, and we got some ramp dorks. Sulfur Falls. Well, Glacial Fortress, go. Ixalan's Binding also seems very good against our opponent's deck. Spire Bluff Canal. And Heart of... Oh, boy. Okay. Heart of Kirin. I'll play the Forest. Play... Naga Vitalist. Hmm. Heart of... I have no idea what our opponent's deck's doing. Maybe it's very different than we thought. Opponent. Passing. Well, play Servant of the Conduit. Play Scattered Groves. Eh, get him for one. So this is like Blue-Red vehicles i don't know what's going on all right lightning strikes vitalist trying to keep us off our mana bone end passing hmm oh play scattered groves play panharmonicon opponent's got the negate well they gotta have a handful of action considering they're not playing lands mountain and sahili rai all right so our opponent can start firing up this heart of kirin yeah, pings us, scries, to the bottom, digging for lands. I mean, if this servant lives, though, we're pretty close to playing Palaka Worm. And this turn, we can Spyglass and Binding if we want to. Opponent gets in with Heart of Kirin. Yeah, down to 15. Well, there's a land. So play Hinterland Harbor. Play Spyglass. Whew. 
name uh, hmm. Name Heart of Kirin. Attack Sahili. Pass the turn. So I think our plan is try to kill Sahili with Servant. Ixlon's binding the first Chandra and strand the other one in our opponent's hand. Got to be aware of double disallow. Two disallows, two Chandras, one unknown. Opponent passing. I'll go to combat. Hit Sahili. Come on, no burn, no burn, no removal. All right, Sahili down. Play Glacial Fortress, pass the turn. Opponent passing. Well, play Ether Hub. Get yeah, it would serve it. Uh, yeah, those disallows. We got to wait for our opponent to make the first move because of those double disallows. Opponent will find a land eventually, you'd assume. Opponent passing. Well, get in with Servant. Play the planes. Pass the turn. Opponent. Wow, still not hitting lands. Discards a hard to cure it. Well, we are hitting all lands, essentially. Get in with Servant. <laughs> Maybe we just do this for eight more turns. Down to 40. Play either um. <laughs> I mean, this isn't exactly how Panharmonicon is planning on winning, but I guess we'll take it. If we, oh man, opponent's still missing on lands. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Well, Nezahal seems reasonable. That probably just finishes the game. Nezahal? Pass the turn. Okay, shocks. We draw a card. I'm <laughs> glad our opponent waited until we could draw a card from that. Untaps. And opponent does not find the land and scoops it up. I mean, they didn't know that we had another binding in hand, but all right. Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon's last stand. Uh, Not much Panharmonicon action that last game, but sweet. All right. Budget magic time. Playing some Panharmonicon's last stand. Erd. <laughs> Panharmonicon week. Played some uh, Palakamonicon. Ooh, Swamp. All right. Not mono red aggro for once. Hinterland Harbor, go. This hand's fine for being six cards. Hopefully, Rejuvenator does not whiff. That would be sad. Forest. Opponent passing. Well, Island, go. Mana's looking good. We need like a Cloud Blazer or something to go with this Panharmonicon. Still, I assume our opponent's playing like a Winding Constrictor deck. All right, Jade Light Ranger. Jade Light Ranger. Okay. Sure. Mills it. Verderous Gearhawk. Oh, boy. All right. That's a big old thing. Meteor Golem. Well, get an energy. And I think we just rejuvenate her and pray to the magic gods <laughs> that there's a land in our top five. All right, there is. Um... We want white. I guess Scattered Groves is fine. Let's take Scattered Groves. We want a lot of green for future Palaka Worms. Opponent. Gets in with Jade Light. Sure. Down to 16. So this probably is Green Black Constrictor, just kind of a slow-ish hand. Deadlands. And ugh, Vine Mare, okay. Well, play Ether Hub. Get an energy. That Vine Mare might be an issue. Play a Seal Away. Play Naga Vitalist. Pass the turn. So, opponent's gonna have a massive Vine Mare. And we're just gonna have to uh, outvalue slash chump it. Kills Vitalist. All right, that does slow us down a bit. Vine Mare gets in. I guess we block. Yeah. Uh. Play Champion of Weds. 
Gotta find time to get this Panharmonicon down. But we need to consistently have chump blockers. Well, discard Panharmonicon. Discard Ixalan's Binding. Play Scattered Grove. Pass the dirt. Ponet. Ugh, Veraska's Contempt. That's not good. We really wanted to chump there. Pony gets in down to 11. Well, play Panharmonicon. Pass the turn. Oh, there's the land. All right. Life is bad. Life is super, super bad. Vine Mare. Eh, it's a 9-7. Pony gets it. Well, we could draw like a Cloud Blazer, I guess. Uh, Palaka Worm, not quite. Land. Well, I guess this buys us a turn. If our opponent doesn't have removal. Vine Mare is quite the magic card. Pass the turn. Try to chump. Hope we draw Palaka Worm. Palaka Worm would give us hope. Opponent. Gets it. Block. Yeah. Well, come on, Palaka Worm. Cloud Blazer would also be okay. Oh my god, more Vine Mares. Ugh. Champion of Wits. Go looting. Discard the lands. Go looting. Meteor Golem. Vizier. Yeah, we're just... We're straight up dead. Alright. Well, we tried. <laughs> uh, We can bring in Wraths. Wraths are a way to deal with Vine Mare. That seemed to be our big problem there. Is that Vine Mare is just... Very obnoxious. Let's go down a Rejuvenator, go down one Meteor Golem, and just run it like that with with a couple of sweepers to maybe give us a way to deal with Vine Mare. All right, we play first, and all right. We got value. No Panharmonicon, but we have some ramp. Hopefully Rejuvenator is helpful for us for our opponent, and passes. Well, Forest and Servant of the Conduit. Get some energy past the turn. Man, Panharmonicon would be sweet. Woodland Cemetery. Opponent. Thorn Lieutenant. Well, play a Swamp. Let's just rejuvenate. Take a Scattered Groves. Pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. This is where Cloud Blazer would be sweet. Cartouche. Kills Rejuvenator. Uh, okay, I guess. Sure. Our opponent gaining life doesn't really bother us too much. At least that's not on a Vine Mare. Opponent gets in. Down to 17. Well, let's champion. Go looting. Uh, discard Meteor Golem and I guess Ether Hub. Play Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. We can't really get rid of the Fumigate because that's one of our only ways to kill Vine Mare. Opponent goes attacking. Well, we're actually just gonna chump. We'd rather have Champion of Wits in the graveyard than getting Veraska's Contempted. Contempt. Bonnet. There's a Vine Mare. Land? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Well, I guess we pass and take our beats? Uh, maybe we should have discarded the Binding and kept the land huh yeah I guess there's an argument for that bonnet oh dear duress okay well there goes fumigate we were kind of counting on that hmm that's gonna make things tricky Yep, Fumigate down. Opponent. 
attacks. Well, let's Vizier. Yeah, opponent gets a 1-1, one, one, but we get rid of the Cartouche. And I guess we take five. We really want this Servant to give us mana for Palaka Worm and Champion of Wits. Definitely regretting discarding that land. Opponent. More Vine Mares. They just keep coming. Well, we need a land. We really, really, really need a land. Opponent gets back Thorn Lieutenant. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Dear God. God Almighty. And I think that does it. I think we're going to lose because we did not keep that ether hub. Hmm. At the time, going Wrath into Kill Your Next Thing made a lot of sense. But then our Wrath got hit by Duress. And now we can't sweep the Vine Mares. And now we're pretty dead. Well... Plockworm does cost a lot of mana, as does Champion. If they just sack Deadlands and kill Servant of the Conduit, then I think our only pseudo out is to draw our second Fumigate. Otherwise, we're just we're just dead. Opponent goes attacking. Well, I mean, chump a blind mare, a vine mare, block an elf. Yep, down to six. Opponent. Let's see if they have the foresight to kill Servant and win the game. Nah, all right. Land? Servant. All right. Well, this still puts us to dead, unfortunately. I mean, we won't do the early scoop. We'll play Servant. The problem is we have to chump away our mana. Oh, boy. Ha. Huh. Yeah, we should have discarded Ixalan's Binding. I don't know if that's hindsight bias with how the game turned out, but if we had kept that ether hub, I think we win the game. Pass the turn. I guess there's also an argument that maybe we should have just fired off the fumigate right away, but then we put ourselves down on mana, and that doesn't seem great either. Veraska's Contempt. Yep. Well, I mean, we block here and die, yeah. So we're just literally dead. Ay 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 ay. Well, all right, Banner Monicon. It was nice knowing ya. <laughs> Should have kept the Ether Hub. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's the problem with playing so many seven drops. So what do we learn this week about Palaka Monicon? And it was fun. I mean, that's what we were going for. It's weird to be playing standard out with rotation coming. So it's not like, oh, how can we tune this deck and make it as good as possible for standard? What can we do to make it, you know, into a better archetype so you can play it for the next years? It's rotating. There's not anything we can do about it. Rotation comes for the best of us, Panharmonicon included. But we ended up going three and two, playing mostly tiered X, Grixis Control, Red Aggro, Red Black Aggro, playing kind of the top tiers of the standard format, and we ended up with a winning record with Palakawanicon. So, I mean, the deck is fun. We draw lots of cards. We do some ramping. We did have some times that were frustrating where we would get down our Panarmonicon and just couldn't find a Cloud Blazer, Champion Wits, or Palakawarm, or something where if we drew any one of anything, we would just win the game. But still, the deck was a lot of fun to play. It reminded me of all that is sweet about Panharmonicon. I don't know if there's anything in Guilds of Ravnica standard that'll be able to replace turn 4 Panharmonicon, or maybe turn 3 with Ramp. Next turn, Cloudblazer, just refill your hand, draw a ton of cards, go crazy from there. So, I wish that maybe Panharmonicon would be reprinted. That would be sweet in a world with Noah Braid in the main deck. But it was fun to send it off proper. The new M19 cards were definitely good additions. Elvish Rejuvenator was a little worse than I thought. We did occasionally whiff with it, which was pretty disappointing. But Palaka Worm, insane. Definitely got us out of some sticky situations, gaining huge chunks of life. Meteor Golem, really solid removal, blowing up a bunch of things. So, so all around, it was a ton of fun. It's a little sad. Uh, I mean, kind of mixed feelings. It was a ton of fun to play Panharmonicon one more time, but a little disappointing to know this is probably the last time we'll play Panharmonicon in Standard. Maybe ever. It doesn't seem like the kind of card that'll come back in Standard too often. But anyway, it was fun to draw a bunch of cards, gain a bunch of life, kill a few opponents along the way. Anyway, that's been our Panharmonicon week. 
Budget Magic, Palakamonicon for Standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.